DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a 20 minute upper body straight set workout focused on pre exhausting secondary or minor muscles first. So, what we're going to do during this workout is we're going to do 12 exercises performed all in a row for two sets each. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and we'll have no extended breaks. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on hitting the biceps first, pre-exhausting them, then moving on to the back, and then after that we'll then do triceps and then work the chest. And we'll kind of alternate between those, and then at the end we will hit shoulders. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. For the warm up, we need no uh, dumbbells or resistance. Um, if you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to go into for the warm up is arm circles. So we're going to put our arms out, and then we're just going to move them in little circles starting out. Here we go. Here we go. So nice little circles. And then what we're going to do is as time passes, we're going to make some bigger circles here. Here we go. Feel everything stretching out, warming up in the shoulders, a little bit in the chest. I did chest yesterday, so my chest is a little bit sore. If you want, you can reverse it. There we go. All right, next we're going to go into internal and external rotations. So here, come up and then come back down. Internal rotation, external rotation. Trying to keep my elbows in about the same spot here. I'm down. Yes, I know I'm not the most flexible person you're ever going to meet, but it is what it is. Here we go. Feel those shoulders starting to heat up a little bit, huh? Next, we're going to drop down to the ground for push-up to row. You may need a mat. Again, no resistance. So I'm just going to be on my knees here. I'm going to come down and get a push-up and then get a single arm row. There we go. Nice and easy. If you need to, you can kind of take a little break, let it stretch out down on the ground. There you go. If you want, you can even kind of open up right there. Feel that back warm up. After this, we're going to stand back up for some trunk twists. One more here. There we go. So we get our feet a little wide here. What we're going to do is rotate at the trunk or the core starting out. And then as time passes, we'll begin to pivot at the hips and feet. There we go. So now you kind of get those hips into it a little bit. Start opening them up. Start pivoting the feet. There we go. Keeping the core nice and engaged. Don't forget to breathe. Next, we're going into bodyweight squats. There we go. So feet about shoulder width apart. Dropping down, coming up. Yes, I know we're not doing any legs, but it's a great way to just warm up the entire body and get some blood flowing. Plus, you will be picking up your dumbbells and you should lift them with your legs. There we go, nice and easy. Keep the back nice and straight. There we go. Next, we're going to go into good morning. So, we're going to be bending at the lower back nice and easy. So, if you want to have a slight bend in the knees, you can. Bending down, feeling that back stretch out, and then coming back up. Nice and easy. Good controlled movements. There you go. If you want, you can kind of bend with the back straight, bending at the hips, and then stretching the back. Come back up. Do one more. Don't forget to breathe. All right, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. Our first exercise we're going into is close curls. So let's grab our dumbbells here. So what we're going to be doing here, a couple options. You can keep the dumbbells together the entire time and bring them up, or you can start with them by your side, and as you come up, bring them together. Here we go. So I'm actually just going to try to keep mine together the entire time. Kind of reminds me of like a preacher curl. If you have those little bars, you know, easy curl bars. Here we go. So, keeping the elbows by the side. Don't let the elbows kick back like that. Remember, 30 seconds on, 15 off, two sets of each exercise. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Don't forget to breathe. Here we 
go. 15 seconds, going back into it. Starting to feel everything warm up. Heating them biceps up. Here we go, back into it. Come on, coming up and down. Up and down. Good controlled movements. There we go. Exhale as you curl it up, inhale as you bring them back down. There we go. Let's get a few more. Let's get one more. There we go, 15 seconds. We're gonna move in to bit over rows here. So for the rows, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our palms facing our body, bending at the hips and knees, coming up, back down. Here we go, chest out. Head up if you want. If you want, you can kind of keep your head in a neutral position. You don't have to have it way up here like that, but definitely kind of push your chest out. It's going to help the back stay nice and straight. So now when you're doing these rows right here, feel the biceps catching fire. Here we go, getting that added work on the biceps. Got to tell them to grow, you know? I'm up, squeeze, back down. Let's get one more. There we go. 30 seconds, back into rows. Get some water as needed. Here we go. And up, back down. Up, back down. There we go. Come on. Come up and squeeze. Chest out, Woo, burning it up. If you need to, you can always alternate left and right. That's totally fine. Let's go. Here we go. All right, next we're dropping down on the ground for some lying tricep extensions. So moving on to triceps and chest here. You can use one or two dumbbells. Let me grab them. So, hands up, and down, and up. There we go. If you want to use a single, you can. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Notice how I'm kind of keeping my arms at an angle. They're never going straight. We don't want them to. We want them to stay back here. So then it's keeping constant tension on the triceps. Let's get one more. Here we go, going back into it. Last set of this and we're moving into chest. Here we go. All right, hands up. Kind of bring it back here. Come down, tap and go. Tap and go. If it does get too tough, what you can do is when you're here, just pull your arms down, press up. Get the extension down from here, press up. If you're using two dumbbells, you can also alternate if you need to, or you can drop to a single. There we go. All right, we're going to the chest press or push-ups. If you want to do, I'll do a chest press real quick. So chest press, just push them up, tap the dumbbells, come back down, just like that. Here we go. Let's get some push-ups now. Coming down and up. If you need to do the push-ups on your knees, that's totally fine. There we go. Another option for the push-ups is as you come down, drop down onto your chest, take a little one second break, push back up. Come down, rest, push back up. Go. Going back into it. This next one I'll actually do a chest press the entire time so you can see. Here we go. So pushing up, coming down, pushing up, coming down. There we go. Push it out. Here 
Don't forget to breathe. Start to feel it in them triceps. Oh yeah. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, we're moving in to hammer curls. Back to biceps and back. So hammer curls, we're gonna have a neutral wrist position on these. So hands, palms facing each other the entire time. Here we go, coming up and down. Up and down. There we go. As you come up, squeeze the biceps. Squeeze. There we go. Come on. Woo, yeah. Feeling good. Got to embrace that burn. There we go. So one is done. Going back into it. Keep burning those biceps up. Here we go. Back into it. Good controlled movements. Remember, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. There we go, keep pushing. One more. There we go. All right, we got reverse grip rows next. So with these, what we're gonna be doing, still bending at the back, palms facing, out away from us, so we're gonna to try to take it from our knee up our thigh to the hip, kind of pulling up and back. So from here, up and back, back down. Up and back, back down. There we go. Push it out again. Keep that chest out. You can have your head in a neutral position, that's totally fine. Come on. Let's get one more. Here we go. Good stuff right there. Good reps. Got the sweat coming down. Back into it. Reverse grip rows. Here we go. Up, oh, squeeze. Coming back. Come on. Ah, push it out. If you need to, you can always alternate. That's totally fine. Left and then right. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. Keep going. Come on. Ah, there we go. One more. All right, we're going in to overhead tricep extensions next. You can use one or two dumbbells. So two dumbbells, bring them up right here. Come up, back down. If you want to do a single, goes up and over, right here. Just like that. Don't forget to breathe. I'm gonna grab two. One's a little light. The nice thing about having two is if it does get heavy, you can drop them down on your shoulders, use those legs, explode up, slowly control it back down. Let's get one more. Here we go. Going to set two. Moving right along here. Keep pushing. Here we go, getting up. Elbows up. Coming up. Back down. Up. Back down. There you go. Don't forget to breathe. Good stuff. 10 seconds. One more. Here we go. So next we're going to wide grip push-ups or decline push-ups. Wide grips, hands nice and wide. Decline, what we're gonna do is get in that glute bridge position right here. And then 
Push up, come down. Push up, come down. Try to keep your hips up off the ground the entire time. There you go. Push it out. Good controlled movements. There we go. Going back into it. Oh, I can do a wide grip next. Nice pose. Here we go, wide grip. Get those hands nice and wide here. Here we go. Coming down, back up. Down, back up. You can certainly do these on your knees if you want. Again, another option, come down, take a break, push back up. Down, take a break, push back up. Whichever one you need to do, just don't stop. Keep pushing the entire time. There we go, one more. Great stuff. All right, we're moving into bicep curls. So regular curls, just some basic stuff, you know, nothing crazy here. So palms facing out away from us, coming up, back down. Here we go. Up, back down. Up, back down. Here we go. If you want, as you come down, you can let your hands just drop by your side like that. Come back up. You don't have to keep your palms out. I just like to. I feel like it keeps constant uh, tension on the biceps. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Going back into it. A couple seconds. Here we go. Open up, back down. Up, back down. Push it out. Let's go. Keep pushing. There we go, two more. One more. Here we go. Not gonna lie, my biceps are on fire. Next, we're gonna be going in to clean pulls. Uh, so let's grab a dumbbell. Sorry for the uh, cut in the video. Jen's phone connected to the speaker. So here we go. We're gonna drop down and then pull it straight up. There we go. Keeping the back nice and straight. FYI, I was doing clean pulls about a minute ago. And um, here we go, switch it up real quick. There we go. And all of a sudden I was working out to kids YouTube sing-alongs. So that was pretty interesting, but we're gonna finish this workout. Here we go, come on. Boom, boom. There we go. All right, going back into it for round two right here. There we go. Back on track. Jen's not with us today because uh, she kind of sliced her finger open, had to get a few stitches, so she can't really hold a dumbbell. Here we go. So now she's on baby duty. Well, I get to work out. I think I get the fun part of that deal. FYI. Come on. Here we go switch it up. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Last one. Bam. There we go. All right, we got shoulder press next. So I'm gonna try to push it here a little bit. I'm gonna use my 30s I got for the shoulder press. So what we're gonna do, bring them up, palms facing out, push up, come down. There we go. Boom. Make sure you're keeping the elbows in front of the shoulders when you're down here, pushing up. There we go. Come on. You got it. Woo. Keep the core engaged. Let's go. One more. Woo. There we 
we go. Keep burning them shoulders out. Going back into it. Let's go. Bring them up. Palms away. Up and down. Come on. Let's go. Good controlled movements. If you need to, you can alternate. Let's go. Also, you can use your legs, drop down, push up, control it back down. Let's get one more. Woo! Oh, there we go. Oh, we got one more. Lateral raises. You don't need super heavy weight for lateral raises. Slide bend in the elbows here. Have the dumbbells out in front of you. Coming out, back down. Here we go. Coming out. Back down. Keep your thumbs slightly higher than your pinkies. When you're out here, dumbbells are angled. They're not flat like that. There we go. If that's a little too tough, start here at a 90. Come out. Down. Out. Down. Another option. You can always just do singles. One more. Ah. Shoulders are on fire right there. One more. One more and we're finished here. Come on, burn those shoulders up. Here we go. Coming out. And out. And out. Come on. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. You got this. Two more. One more. Woo! We are finished. Way to go. Way to push it. I hope you enjoyed that little pre-exhaust. I actually love them because once you start doing those major muscles like uh, bent over rows or uh, the chest press or bench press and you've already worked that secondary muscle whoo on those major ones that secondary muscle catches fire and it's great to get that little bit of extra work out of it so hope you guys enjoyed that one be sure like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one see you guys